The YF-118G bird of prey indeed lifted a number of eyebrows in its day, and it remains as revered as its design was bizarre. Boeing wanted to leapfrog their competition, and the company was working on methods to design and create sophisticated stealth planes that were cheaper to build yet more advanced than those of their competitors. And when you look at an aircraft like the Boeing YF-118G, known as the Bird of Prey, you half expect to see a Klingon piloting the otherworldly vehicle, not a US Air Force test pilot, let alone a pilot from the 1990s. Running from 1992 to 1999, with its first test flight in 1996 taking place at Area 51, the source of many off-the-wall sightings of supposedly alien craft, the bird of prey was truly next-level technology. Boeing's new concept plane did not handle very well. Its design was strange, and its 23-foot wingspan meant that it had poor flying quality. Yet the point of the YF-118G was not to be the next great flying machine. The objective was to carry the military's demand for reliable, next-generation stealth technology into the next century. That is precisely what the YF-118G did, and it continues to be heralded by aviation enthusiasts and Air Force aficionados as a groundbreaking plane. The Bird of Prey allowed Boeing to play with ideas incorporated in concept plane models such as the X-32 Joint Strike Fighter and the X-45A Unmanned Aerial Vehicle concept plane, 